Let's see what we got. Very good. Okay. So we have the Ace of Pentacles. All right. So you guys might be really, really focused right now. Um, maybe for some of you, um, you are focused on your money. Um, because that's what Pentacles is all about is money. But the Ace of Pentacles is all areas of your life. I think that maybe for a lot of you, you guys are recognizing how money has affected a lot of areas, if not all areas of your life. And you are literally having some sincere, sincere focus on it. Um, this also talks about new beginnings um, when it comes to all areas of your life. So I feel like there's going to be some um, prosperous new beginnings that are coming or some really um, sincere focus so that you can manifest these new beginnings, all right? And yeah, right along um, side of that, um, yeah, you guys got money on your mind, okay? This is Nine of Pentacles. This is really laying down some solid, solid foundations. You guys have put been putting in some work here, all right? You guys are not playing games. And if you guys haven't had the opportunity to get to this point, you are thinking about what it's going to take to get there and you are going to succeed in this. All right. I do see that for some of you, this is something that you may have been going at alone. This is something either a project or um, a foundation, a financial foundation, your own business, something you've been doing. It's, it's almost as if you've been doing it on your own. But still and so, that might have been why this has been taking you so long to build and to get to where you want it to be. Because I am feeling like this is a long time coming. You guys have been working at this for a long point in time. There has been some lack when it came to finances, but that is no longer going to be the case. Okay, Pisces, you guys are really super focused or you're putting something in play that's going to shift these things because the nine is only one step away from the ten. So you guys are literally so close to prosperity, are going to get so close to prosperity. This is the closest that you will have been in a long freaking time. Okay, so this is really, really good energy to start off with. So, of course, with anything good, <laughs> there could be some things hidden or there could be some things, um, some obstacles in the way. So let's... Let's see if there's any of that headed your way, okay? Oop. All righty. Mm, interesting. Interesting. Yes. All right, let's see. I love this deck because this deck has such a sugary, dark side to it almost. Um, so I'm hearing like bittersweet. Um, I'm not necessarily just talking about the card, the deck itself, but we're going to look right into it um, and see. All right, so this is talking about compassion. Um, it, it's, it's saying that if you've been harmed by someone, your pain and anger are legitimate responses. But if you find yourself stuck in the wounded place, you can heal your heart by filling it with compassion. Compassion isn't pity or even forgiveness. It's suffering within. Putting yourself in the other person's shoes and imagining what they're going through. Even the very worst people deserve some um, compassion. After all, you have to be pretty damaged to want to damage someone else. So this is talking about someone that may have crossed you or um, damaged you in some sort of way. And now it's like, you know, you don't have to necessarily forgive them. You don't have to necessarily... Um, you know, feel like you need pity because I don't feel like you need pity, 
But I think in order for your soul to move on from this damage that has been done to you, that equals trauma. And maybe you're dealing with it and maybe you're not. Maybe this is something that I'm pulling out, that spirit is pulling out that's on the dark side. It's on the shadow side of you that you're not willing to look at. It's something um, for some of you that's repressed. Some of you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, but what I'm hearing is, is that whoever this person or, or, or people are that have possibly have done this, the reason why you're being asked to have a little compassion is that this person or people, there's something altered with them. So it, it wasn't like you were flawed or they purposely picked on you. It hurt you, yes. It traumatized you, yes. It changed you for who you are today or in your current state as it is right now, yes. But having compassion for someone isn't really about them at all. It's about finding peace for yourself. And I feel like because of this past trauma or maybe even current trauma, um, it's been hard for you to move on because without you even knowing it, because Spirit is saying oh, most of you have this repressed. Most of you either know what I'm talking about, but are like, man, that happened. I'm so over it and not really understanding that you do have rep repressed feelings. Or some of you are like, let, what is she talking about? Let me dig a little deeper. And you might get off of this video and still not know what I'm talking about, but then take some deeper, more reflective moments to say, oh, okay, there it is. Either way, this is what has hindered you because Pisces, you guys do give a lot. You know, you guys are very loyal. You guys are sensitive in a different way than Cancer is because Cancer is very emotionally sensitive. But Pisces is like sensitive to people, right? So you guys understand like doing things for people, um, giving advice to people, making sure everybody has what they need. So it's like when someone comes in and violates or takes advantage or tries to manipulate, you you take that as seri a serious offense because you're like, I don't do this to people. You see the beauty in helping people, being there for people. But then what I'm seeing for some of you, and hear me when I say this, some of you have now hardened your heart because of people or this person that has caused this damage. So it's almost altered you now, Pisces. It's like, do I even want to help them? help anyone anymore do do i even want to give advice to anyone do i even want to be around anyone because for some of you there's a level of isolation it's like you don't even want to be around people anymore all right so this is this is what i'm seeing here okay let's dig a little deeper like these two want to come up okay yeah honor yourself okay so absolutely honor yourself Pisces I'm never going to contend with that you know I'm an Aquarius um so we're like freaking neighbors here um so definitely have to honor yourself but in honoring yourself that means really looking at the ish that's underneath, really understanding that these people, this situation, they were altered in a way. And although this hurt, although this was traumatic, it was a part of your story, but it doesn't need to be a part of your story as it is today. Okay. You can look at that person or those people and be like, you know what? They're really fucked up. What happened in their life? You know, what was their environment like? 
this wasn't a direct attack against you and um, it's time to honor yourself and, and to not um, not get this bag, not get this focus. Like this, this little dark hidden truth is and has been stifling your success, okay? It, it's held you back from being confident. It's allowed you to be stagnant because of the fear of letting people in being brand new, um, doing things differently, walking away and letting people um, fend for themselves. You know, um, it's time to honor yourself. Okay, so let's just go in a little deeper here. See if there's any additional messages. Number nine. Okay. If you're a numbers person so far, 27 and 9... These could be significant numbers um, that mean something to you or um, a loved one. So these numbers show up as confirmation as to this could, you know, be speaking to you in a way. All right. So it says it's now your duty to honor your physical self in an exalted way. Have you been abusing your body? poor eating, access of toxic substances, and dragging yourself through workouts you don't enjoy? Is punishing not celebrating yourself serving you well? Don't put anything in your body that is not worthy of your goddess status. Quality over quantity is the key at this time. Awaken to your sacred self. Let's see. So for some of you, you literally could be um, doing some things that are on the verge of self-sabotage. Uh, there could be um, overeating. There could be uh, not eating healthy. Um, some of you could be losing or gaining excessive amount of weight. Um, and not understanding why this is happening. This is because this suppressed trauma. Um, it's almost like when you are abused. Because I hear this. This is what I'm hearing. I feel like this is a level of abuse in some sort of way. And so it's like once the abuser steps away. Um, and is no longer able to abuse. Or is no longer in, um, in the ability to abuse. It's like we then pick up the torch and continue the abuse on ourselves. This is this is what I'm seeing here. All right, so you're prompted to honor yourself, okay? Everything in perfect balance, okay? So I don't need to read this. I get this card pretty often. This is talking about getting everything aligned. This is mind, body, and soul, okay? Um this is talking about getting your mind in alignment. Um, I'm feeling like when we're talking about, you know, some of these emotions you might be suppressing, um, you know, your body, they just talked about that. And, and your soul, setting yourself free in your soul, because honestly, you have a lot of great things coming. You have a lot of, a lot more great things to manifest. And so this is what I see could be standing in the way of you continuing this success or getting some of these things up off of the ground. So I'm hearing that a lot of times it's like, it sounds great. It sounds like a great idea, but then it like falls flat. Um, but the universe says, you know, not this time. Y you can't allow this um, to happen um, once again. It it's time to take these challenges on and um, let's let's move forward from this, okay? So let's get some goddess advice. Okay. Goddess advice. All right. Out they come. All right. The arts. It says express yourself through creative activities. Yeah, because for some of you, um, you know, some of these things that I'm seeing are, are very dark and damaging um, to your mental um, and have been for some time. 
So some of you need to do something that's creative, but also gives you some form of fulfillment. Some of you might need to use um, music um, as a way to, you know, let some of these emotions up and out. Um, some of you might have other creative ways that you can express yourself or express this inner pain. Maybe it's not having a conversation out loud with someone. Maybe it's not even having a conversation with yourself per se about it, but allow your pain, if you feel like you can't do that, allow your pain to express itself through music, through dance, through art, um, in some creative way so that it can find its, its way out of the door. Open up the door for it, Pisces, so that something new can come walking through that door, okay? So that's what I see. Because the truth of the matter is, is that you do have a bright future. It says, stop worrying. Everything is going to be fine. Because I think for some of you, it's like you get into this panic mode of like, oh my God, I don't know what's going to happen. And also, as you're hearing me say this, some of you are like panicking, like, oh my God, I don't want to even think about that. I don't want to, you know, discuss this with anyone. And it's like, it's okay. You know, everything is going to be okay. I mean, just think about this, okay? We, we have this coming. We have very prosperous times coming. You do have a bright future that is definitely coming its way. It's just that there's still some soot, okay, from the fire. There's still some residue that is soot that we need, we need to clean this up, Pisces, so that you can have a clean slate for these new opportunities that are definitely trying to come in. So this is what I see, you know, so far that could possibly be blocking you. Now, we are going to have a discussion with your soul here. We're definitely going to do that um, and see what it has 